Hey, we're back for the fourth episode of today, I believe. Yeah, it's our fourth recording today. Episode 152. Let's see what it has in store. Here, our damage has gone up. Oh, that's because we cast that increase the damage thing. Give me half a second here just to wipe my glasses, which suddenly uh, feel like they've been slimed. Alright, like a glutton. Gluttonous ghost got us. Okay, here we go. That's right, we're in 1950, the deepest we've ever been. We just killed a bunch of monsters in here. I think there was another monster nearby. There is, a couple. We have cast uh, PCE, I recall that. So let's try and deal with this mummy if we can. Not this way, I'm sure we've cast PAA, PAF, and PAG, I'm sure of it. Kill our boring beetle, not a problem. So our primary uh, goal, don't forget, is not... Well, we're obviously hoping to get experience, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for, well, potions of experience and potions of invulnerability. Resistant, some sort of armor that has a letter R. Possibly some sort of... I don't know. Something like I can switch in that ring of Lordly Protection Coal, which incidentally I forgot to sell and figure out what it is, which means I have no room to carry anything, and that sucks. Uh, and in terms of leveling up, we have a, a full 90... Oh, fuck, more than that. 134,000 or so, a little less than 134,000 to go to level up. It's just insane. Shift D. Alright, get rid of that pit that did almost no damage. <laughs> Let's head over to these mummies and such. Uh, do, we, uh, do we, in this section of the map, do we do our proper uh, detection work? I don't know that we did. Seedy looking human. Don't need a flail. There was a dragon around here. I know there was. There it is. Mature black. Let's shift X. Should be a little quicker kill with the with the anti evil longsword here. Slay evil. I think. There we go. Done and done. Not a big deal. Alright, drop V. Eat F. Big V back up. Grab some money. P A A P A F P A F P A G. I don't feel like going all the way back for that mummy. We'll pick him up eventually, I'm sure. That's a long way back. If I can find a quick way back there, I'll go back. Got done a workout, um, possibly first of two, because it was not a, a general workout. It was a specific training plan to uh, strengthen back and neck in specific areas to uh, to help with that um, posture issue I was talking about. I just, have, I just have a computer slouch, that's all, but I have it pretty... Uh, I think it's pretty vicious. I mean, maybe it's no worse than a lot of people have. I don't know. But it feels pretty vicious to me. And like I said, I think it's partly responsible for things like in my wrists, etc. And if not, it's certainly just causing other issues like a sore back. So, so yes, first of uh, well, possibly the only workout we'll see, um, depending on how the rest of my day plays out. But uh, one workout down anyway. Took about 45 minutes or so, and now I'm back. PCB for the sake of it. I mean, I don't know. Should I be checking that to see if it's the right kind of resistance or something? Does that make sense? I guess so. We have so few scrolls. That's the problem. Really getting shortchanged on those in the... Uh, the plus 3 plus 2 is not useful to me. Really getting shortchanged on those in terms of um, just generally how the uh, 
how well the stores are stocking them. Like I said, there's been times in the past where we bought like 16, I think, at a go. And the last three times I think we've been up, they've only sold two. Two or three, maybe. So it's hard to do much identifying when you got nothing to identify with. I'm sure you can identify with that problem. But da da da. Hey, creeping coins. There are some differences between the different daggers I looked up. Um, Bodkin, Misericord, and Stiletto. And that's weights. The Stiletto seems to be the lightest at 1.2 pounds, or whatever the hell it is. I'll fill this thing with oil. Um, then there's the Misericord, which is 1.5, and then Bodkin, which I think is 2. Not sure. Um... So there are differences in those daggers, if I understand the rule set completely, and obviously I don't as a general rule, um, then the stiletto would be the best dagger you could have, because it weighs the least, and therefore you might get the most swings out of it, not to mention the fact that it would also just keep your general uh, you know, carrying amount down lowest below what you can carry. So it seems to me like if you have a choice between stilettos, uh, one's a stiletto, or stilettos, one's a different daggers, one's a stiletto, one's a Misericord, one's a bodkin, go with the stiletto, and if you can't do that, go with the misericord, and if you're stuck with anything else, go with the bodkin. It could be something like, you know, let's go back to the longsword. Yeah, he's dead. Um, it could be something akin to um, what we find with the uh, shields, though, where, like, a heavier shield is actually beneficial because for bashing purposes. Not that I ever use it for bashing purposes, but... In theory, for someone, it's better for bashing purposes. So maybe there's a maybe there's an aspect of the weaponry that I don't understand where a heavier weapon has benefits as well. But I don't know what that something would be. Our goal right now is to explore 1950. Obviously, as I said, find potions of invulnerability, potions of experience, kill monsters, get experience. Find a few remaining stat potions. We don't have a lot left to, to go on those fronts, but several for sure. Um, and then to get down to depth 2000 is the plan. Wasn't sure if anything failed there. And I think we're going to hold at 2000 for quite a while. Maybe we'll oscillate between 2000 and 2050. But 2000 is the first place where it's, according to Beej's item list, where the uh, it's the most common place to find potions of invulnerability, so... Allegedly. It's obviously not the first place they show up, because I've found two of them in the past, and I've never... This is my first time even at 1950 feet, so I don't know. Hard to say how it all works. It's all a bit mysterious, isn't it? And I think that's by design. But I'm a board gamer, man. I like to know the rules. Tell me all the, tell me every frickin' detailed rule I need to know, and I will make the most informed decisions I can. Is generally how I, at least conceptually, how I like to play. In practice, sometimes, admittedly, I get uh, frustrated or, or lazy, and I don't always adhere to that notion. Sometimes I make some very dubious choices, as I'm sure you've seen. <laughs> But as a rule, I like to stay informed. And this game is not the best at doing that. Even in spoilers are somewhat... somewhat less than detailed spoilers, in my opinion. Like, for instance, I think with the PCB that we saw, where it was not connecting with the monster for some reason, but then we'd shoot, shoot it later and it'd be an even further distance and it would connect just fine, so I don't know what was happening there in the last few episodes. I did notice several times, I don't know for sure if this is true, but in, in my in my mind as I flash back on what happened, I got that, I don't know if it was a death closet or it's a closet, but either way I wanted to make sure we didn't risk it. PCE again. Um, it seemed to me when it was when I was, when I was uh, casting the spell to the east, is when it was sometimes running into problems. Um, so there may be something there. It might be an actual glitch where if you cast PCB to the east, it has a limited range or something. I don't know. 
you could say that sounds ridiculous, but watch. Again, didn't we do this before? We, we try and run to the... Well, there were times we were running to the south before or something, maybe it was to the north. And it was running just fine, and then times we ran other directions and it wouldn't work. I don't know. Maybe it was west that ran fine? I don't know. I don't fucking know. We did have it working... Running was working briefly in one direction. <laughs> so there's obviously some sort of errors going on still in this version of the game. Black Wraith... So we can't just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that. But we can hack at it, and then back away and hack at it. Yeah, it's dead. Potion of Sleep doesn't help us. Can't throw those at monsters. You can find Potions of Sleep in Caverns of Escasium. They put you to sleep, but that's not a curse. It's like an actual good thing. It's like a, a way for you to rest. If you can't find a place, like a bed to lay down in, you can just quaff this potion and sleep on the floor. Otherwise, you'd be too anxious and stressed and uncomfortable to sleep on the floor. Sleep is a an occasionally desired state in caverns because it gives you back a, a section of your hit points and a or health rather, and a section of your um, spell points, both depending on um, how well you sleep. And that's usually dependent on the type of bed you're sleeping in, whether it's a straw bedding or a a bed or a four-poster bed or whatever large bed I think it might be sleeping roll bed roll rather or using a potion of sleep it can also be a very negative thing because if you fall asleep then monsters can walk up and hack at you obviously and they get an automatic free hit for maximum damage but then you wake up that's how that works and even if you can find beds and stuff you can only sleep once per map is the way it works in that game not in this game this game you drink, you sleep if you hit a trap or drink the wrong potion or something. That's about it. Never a desired state in this game. I don't know if I've PCE'd in a while. Let's do it again. PAE. A Zorn or something. What do you know about it? Killed three of them. They're decently, decently valued. Definitely getting four hits now. It's sweet. I wonder if I can get a fifth hit up. If I can get my uh, dexterity all the way up to 18,100, I wonder if I can squeeze a fifth hit out of this. Or even a sixth, but I doubt that. You never know. You never know. Man can dream. P-A-A. -A. There's a lich, possibly an emperor lich. I don't mind the emperor liches because at least they catapult us towards leveling up. Which has so far been a hell of a which would otherwise be a hell of a, sh a difficult thing. To get from level 32 to level 33, I looked, it took 16 episodes, so roughly 8 hours of gameplay. I say roughly because I don't know how many of those were over budget and time or whatever. But to get to from level 33 to level 34, it was only uh, 8 episodes, or roughly 4 hours of uh, gameplay. Probably a little more than 4, because a few of them were long, but not much. Um, so... We've gone from level 33 to level 34 twice as fast as we went from level 32 to 33. In other words, the Emperor Liches made short work. Even though it was admittedly a, a lot longer, you know, we had a lot more we had to ground, we had to cover and experience. Oh, for fuck's sakes. To get up a level, um, it was still a much shorter time, so they're definitely worth it. I think. They can be tricky, that's for sure. But they're worth it. I think they're native to one level down from here. Oops, I should have rested before I did this. And I shouldn't have rested in a hallway. Like an idiot. It's coming. There it is. Emperor Lich. It's worth a little less now, you'll notice. Worth uh, because we've gone up a level, so it's worth 11,764. That's still pretty fucking good. We definitely want to get away from it. We don't want it standing here uh, attacking us. It's P, B, B. Teleport away. We've hit it once that I know of. If we're right, we need to hit it around 21 to 23 times. Maybe 20-ish times, because we are we do a little more damage with the spell now. A spell's damage is partially dependent on your character level. CB. 
Hit it twice. It casts a spell. Um, we can quaff. Cure critical wounds. It cast a spell and brought me over to it. I'll PBB away from it. Oh no. Alright, that might be good. That's fine. We still only hit it when well, we hit it twice, although it healed itself once. Alright, PCE. Now where was that? Oh fuck, let's get rid of this thing first. Okay. Where was that? I should be... <sighs> I should be taking the time to note where certain things are happening. Because I really don't recall. Was it over here? I actually don't have a real clue. I seem to remember I was heading towards that... Uh, heading towards this. So it must be over here somewhere. I was trying to reach that because we found a few potions under those things. PAA. There's an orc or ogre mage back there or something. Ogre, who knows? Orc or ogre. Let's do a shift W to the north. PAA from here. Still not seeing it. I think I was heading up here towards that. I think. PAA. There it is. Fuck. I wonder if I could uh, tunnel over to somewhere over here. Get ourselves in a different option for how to get to it. I mean, we could wield Wilson to make this a little faster. I guess there was, an, there was an easier way to do this, wasn't there? <laughs> From that room right there. But alright. At least it's not coming down towards us. I'm hoping we can approach it from the south here. At least we'll have two options as to wait, ways to approach it, because... Uh, the way we had to approach it there, it was, uh, it was like right around a corner, so we'd always be... We'd always be running into trouble as we approached it. All right, let's switch back to our bastard sword, who apparently shall remain nameless. I don't know what was under this rock, but I think it's coming from the north, so I'm going to PCB north. If that's it, I got it three times. Four times. Five times. Six times. Seven times. Eight times. Nine times. I need to get away from it to, uh... To... Sorry, nine times. Sorry. Let's rest here. Something's coming from the south. I don't know what. Ah, for fuck's sake. All right, fine. Drop V. PBF. I wouldn't object to a Moria that just got rid of the food as a concept. It's just not a... It doesn't add a lot to the game, I don't think. Jesus, just come on. All right. It, for me, at least, is literally just an annoyance. What am I doing? I have to rest again. PCE in case a rando comes up to me. PAA. Alright, it's still up there. I'd be better to approach it the other way now. We have options. PCB. Ooh. Alright, I got PBB away from it. Rest. PCE. It does absorb a lot of time uh, hunting down these liches because you just keep you know, bouncing around all over the place, but that said. 
fuck's sake, where is it? It's just so worth it in terms of, uh, there's a dragon we can go kill quickly. In terms of, uh, you know, I'm going to switch to my longsword. I also don't know what we, uh, we killed something and it dropped something underneath us. It was like some, you, you, something rolls beneath your feet right before we started fighting that lich, and I didn't have time to check and see what it was. Oh, fuck. I was not expecting to run into it like that. Great. All right, PBB. Get away from it. Quaff a stupid potion to restore life level. Back to level 34. Can't do anything about our dexterity right now. We just lost it. Probably just lost a swing. It's actually a very big deal at this... Uh, at this... Dexterity level is it's a pretty big deal. Fuck off. Losing your concentration. Who has time for such things? For such nonsense? Fuck. It's right there. This should hit it. PCB. East. See, it's, it's to the east. There's an error where if you try and PCB to the east, it doesn't always hit it. I've lost that track. We're maybe at 11 or 12. 13 or 14. 15 or 16, 17 or 18, rest, rest again, what is going on, rest for Christ's sake, get towards it because our stupid spell won't always reach it for no reason. Come on, man. I've lost track. Maybe 15-ish? 16-ish? I think around 20-ish should be it. 17-ish? 18-ish? 19-ish, 20-ish, there is a massive random component, so who knows, to be honest, 21-ish, it's no longer there, apparently, quaff, store mana, so we did lose some dexterity. Okay, that's new and we have to carry it. See, that's the problem, is we have this... Oh, I wish it was uh, restore dexterity. We have this awesome, like, ring of lordly protection I do want to carry. I guess I'm going to drop my wand of... Uh, no, 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 of course not. Let's drop V for a minute. Let's pick this up. Let's read our last scroll of identify. At the lap, he lordly protection acid. Fuck, I'm keeping that. I keep that and this. Um, if I put that on in its place, I don't know. I mean, it, it lets us juggle things, but it'd be plus five defense and protection from acid. That'd be pretty good. It would let us wear a different amulet, perhaps. I don't know. It's hard to know what's what's the right way to approach this stuff. You know, right now we have maximal coverage in terms of protection. I don't want to give that up. But at the same time, sooner or later I gotta worry about armor class two. So I don't know. Of course, you really want to find whoa, some sort of ring of speed anyway that'll uh, give us the upper hand. So eventually we'll be replacing these anyway. Money is no obstacle, that's for sure. Can't carry a rat skeleton, but I want to. All right. The top.
tunnel I made. We'll hold off on the dexterity. I don't want to waste that mushroom if I can avoid it. That way we can, uh, unless we happen to find another potion of dexterity. Why don't we go back to town and we'll hopefully buy a potion of restore dexterity. Hopefully. Hopefully. Up west. Cast some detections here, dude. What are you doing? Being reckless. Good way to lose the game very, very late in the game. That would suck. I can't believe it took me this long to to um, figure out that I could press Shift W to center the screen sort of on myself, and then it creates sort of a new sector. I thought the sectors were kind of absolute and inviolate. Like what sector you're at? I thought it was truly like 12 different sections or something, and you happen to be in whatever one you're in. But it's not the case. The kind of uh, whatever's coming is not evil. But I'm going to cast PCB anyway. Killed it. Whatever it was. They seem to be based on your position or something, and they're sort of, uh, I don't know, redrawable, if that makes any sense. I don't care about a giant house fly, that's fine. Nice pattern of movement for that thing, though. It looked uh, like legitimate fly movement in two dimensions. Oh, what is it? Ancient Green Dragon. PCB this guy. To get him to chase me. Even go, get him to chase me to here so that I don't have to deal with uh, a green, green Dragon waking up. Now the question is, I could switch to the, my best sword. This is a little risky, but I, I mean, because I don't have protection from poison. But I don't know if that matters or not. So this is perhaps foolish. But I've never heard anybody say, don't fucking mess with an ancient green dragon. I wish I had my one more attack. My lack of dexterity here is going to hurt me. Keep an eye on our health. Again, if we get down below 250, we will get the fuck out of here. I don't think it'll do 250 points of damage with a poison breath, but I could be totally wrong. I don't know. Don't want to lose at this late stage. But I do want to kill one of these things, having never done so before. So forgive me that I'm pressing through so slowly and looking at all the messages. Just trying to keep an accurate, as accurate a count as I can as, uh, as to what's going on. That's it. We did it. I'm going to rest right away, actually, before I pick anything up. PCE again. Ah, lots of chests. Did I, do I still have that uh, potion of intelligence? I'll definitely use. That helps. Get my staff usage to work a little better. Let's drop V, E, and F. Pick this up. Search. I've discovered what was it? Examine. Um. Oh, I still have that. Okay, zap P. I thought I dropped it. That's right, I was planning to drop it, and then I chose not to. Okay. Well, there we did it, guys. We killed an ancient green dragon. How does that compare with some of these others? Obviously, the ancient multitude remains the worst. Red is second worst, according to this. 
Black, third worst. Green, just about the same. All right, where are we going next, if anywhere? We're out of um, identify scrolls, but I'm still not going back to the surface yet. Let's do a little bit more exploration up here. And we're going down to 2,000. I'm just going to do it. No. Going to swallow my fear and do it. Just a vampire. Jeez, PCE. Man, I would love to check those out, but I'm not going to because I don't have any identify scrolls and I like everything else I'm carrying and... I already have shoes of speed. If, if those are hard leather boots of speed, it'd be great, but it'd be like a couple of extra, one or two extra um, armor classes all it would really give me. That's it. All right, where's the next, where's the staircase down? Let's head down to the southwest, I guess. PCE. These are always better safe than sorry. Let's go this way. Oh, a little bit more to explore right here. Nothing. Here we go, down to 2,000, the deepest we've ever been, and this is Officially, whoops. Officially as well. Let's rest here first. Let's cast PCE in case there's something waiting for us. Officially the deepest we've ever been. And officially as well, 80% of the way through the entire dungeon. There's two fucking capital Ds there and a capital L. This is perhaps a nightmare scenario. But we're here. Let's very cautiously find out what these things are. Ancient blue dragon we could theoretically take. Let's. How do we deal with it? Can we step inside? P A E. Okay, it's, it's just it and this skeleton. What are we using, by the way? We forgot to switch out of our sword. That's fine for now. Have we ever killed an ancient blue? I don't know if we have. It magically summons an undead. I don't know what it was. There might be something else that can see me. Unless I'm here, I'm going to keep hacking at this thing for now. It is repelled. Oh, there's something invisible. Fuck. Alright, um... Shift X. Alright. Kill the ghost. Kill this ghost. Fuck, come on. Pull the ghost. This is ending up to be a, uh... Fuck, it's a rotting quilt. We don't want it summoning fucking liches. Kill the mummy. Fuck! Kill the zombie. Is this going to keep summoning things all the time? Kill the quilt hog. We're going to have to teleport away from this dragon in a second. We can't stand here risking this, I don't think. Let's... P uh, we might be fucking PB being into a worse situation. I'll switch back. You can always just... You know what? I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's quaff Potion of Healing. There. No problem. We're all the way back. We can take it now. I really need to get that in fact, dexterity back up, man. The fourth hit would really make short, much shorter work of this dragon than what we're doing. We are missing a lot, eh? But also help me hit a bit more, perhaps. Breeze lightning, that's okay. We're fine. All right, it's dead. Let's switch back. Okay, wait. Let's switch back. All right. Let's rest. PCE again. Potion of Storm Mana. We definitely want that. Let's grab a treasure. We know we want that. 
What's this? Oh, excellent. We got a third one. No, we don't need that. Mithril. Enchant armor we can take. Read P. All right, I'll take it. Here comes perhaps an Emperor Lich. It is an Emperor Lich. It teleported away. Oh, my God. All right. How are we going to deal with all this? That was profitable, man. That potion of invulnerability, man. That's what we really, really want. Uh, PAA? Like, we don't... What is this? All right, we're back to this problem. Um, let's go down to it. So it doesn't... Hopefully it doesn't breathe on us. So switch the long sword, which I think will make a little shorter work of it. Ah, oh, fuck. Do I really want to risk leading it out? I do want it to... No, you can... Fuck, okay, we got too much coming at us. PBB, we're out of here. Switch back. Rest. Okay. P. Or, sorry, rest again. PCE. PAA. PAF. PAG. There's a little dragon over here we can deal with. Little by comparison. Yeah, the combat's getting much more dangerous, but, uh,. The prizes are obviously getting a lot better, too. So that's not so bad. Shards of pottery. I mean, not all the treasure's getting better. <laughs> Again, hard leather boots. We really need those damned... Uh, fuck. So I'm not even afraid of a mature dragon. Perhaps I should be, but I'm not... Not the least. I'm missing a lot, though. All right. PAE. Shift X. Salt water. We don't want that. Okay. Let's head back generally towards the thick of things, where the lich and the dragons are. I figure out a good way to deal with them. If we can get them, if we can get them separate, we should be able to take care of them. I don't think we can deal with them both at once. I don't think it would be wise to even try. Off. J. Let's back off. Kill that thing. Here comes the dragon. Unfortunately, the, oh, where's the lich? That's the, that's the real question, of course. Nonetheless, I'm going to PBB away because I don't want to fight it here in a hallway. Fuck. Look at this shit, eh? Naga's fine. Grey Wraith, Poltergeist, Brown Beetle. Grave white. Okay, some of the stuff we can deal with easily. P C E to be sure. Naga. Let's deal with it. How about the gray wraith? Can we deal with that? E no, that's level thirty six. So it's P C B down there. Fuck! Don't lose your concentration. P C B. How fast does it move? Normal speed. Okay, we dealt with all that. None of that was... Oh, for God's sakes. None of that was that... Ooh, big a deal. Executioner's sword, man. Hi, Mr. We could eat that mushroom wrist restoration. Maybe I'll do that. Fuck it. Eating E. It gets my dexterity back for these big fights against these monsters. It also lets me pick this up. And we're not over our limit, are we? No, we're nowhere near our limit. Uh, let's look at the map. Let's do a basic sweep. P-A-A, P-A-F, P-A-G, 
PCE. We have a quasit and a wraith or something over here. PCB West. That did not work. Oh. See if it's a death quasit, it could be putting my fucking dexterity back down and nil, you know? Oh, is it fast, man? Very quickly. Question is, can we kill it before it kills us? I don't think we have much choice. All right, get out of this. I'm just gonna swing at it. You hit it. You hit it. It was an excellent hit. You miss. You hit it. It teleported away for some reason. I'm gonna PCB to the east and hit that wall, which should hurt it. And then I'm gonna hit it again. You hit it. You hit it. You hit it, you hit it. I killed it. Okay, good. I got it before it could get me. Don't need that. I'm finding a lot of books now. Didn't used to find those much. There was a white or something over here as well. Let's rest. PCE. How are we doing for time? Oh, fucking Christ. We're 11 minutes over. <laughs> All right, guys. It was a long-ass episode. I'm going to take a little break. Come on back. I'll see you soon. Bye.